Hi everybody, today we're going to read The Hospital Book by Lisa Brown. Now Lisa Brown had gone into a hospital and was following one of the patients there and it was a child in the pediatric section. Pediatrics means kids, the kids section. And um, was following her through her whole ordeal while she was at the hospital. But she was also listening and looking at all the things that were going on in the hospital. So while I'm reading about what's happening to her, I want you to look at the pictures too, because I'm going to be telling you what some of the um, what some of the signs say, what other people are saying while they're in the waiting room, and things like that. So let's read about Lisa Brown's The Hospital Book. What's wrong? Mom, Dad, Grandpa. Oh. When I went to the hospital, I cried nine times. The first time I cried was when my stomach hurt. The second time I cried was when the car went over a bump. It made my stomach hurt worse. Ow! Don't worry, we're almost there. So now they are at the hospital and they have an emergency room, which is called the ER. And that stands for emergency room at the children's hospital. So here you have lots of people and lots of signs. Somebody's on the phone going blah, 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 while they're walking away. It says, hurry, and the kid's crying. Wow, well, must not be feeling good. You get another mommy walking a child who's sleeping. It's a girl on crutches, one in a wheelchair. Kids telling their mom, I want a cookie. We've got the one-way street, and it says, stay sweet. She's telling them to stay sweet. The doctor's talking to the patient. Hello, Dr. Shivago. I feel better now. That's what the child did. She's just left the emergency room, so she's feeling much better. So up in the up in the picture, you can see in the windows, doctors and nurses and all of them looking at different kids. You get the eye doctor up there, there's nurses, a mommy, and the kid up top's going, ah, because the mom, because the nurse asked to look inside your throat. The third time I cried was in the waiting room. There were other kids there too. Some were sick. Some of them were hurt. Some of them played games or watched screens and or fought with their sisters and brothers. A lot of them cried. So now you're inside the emergency room. They want you to sign in here is your registration. It says, please have your insurance card ready. You've got to wear a mask if you're not feeling well. And the lady says, don't worry, you'll be soon quickly. So in the emergency room, you see the kids fighting. Mine. The other sister saying, mine. You got kids playing. The mom says, telling the child to hang on, love. And the kid's arm's hurting. She said, my arm hurts. Got a child who's crying, not feeling well. Grandma, I want a cookie. Grandma says, not now. This child's feeling sick. She's wearing a mask because she's not feeling well. She's sneezing. Another child's going, mom, mom, mom. And another person is sitting there writing down their information you have to do when you check in. And she's saying, it hurts when I move. The mom's saying, you'll be okay. Then the, the nurse says, Simone. I didn't cry when the nurse took my temperature or measured my blood pressure or figured out how much oxygen I had in my blood. I didn't cry 
when I got a bracelet with my name on it. So here it says, this just touches your forehead. So they're feeling to see if you got a fever. It's going to feel a little tight. It's squeezy. So that's when they check your blood pressure. Don't worry. I'm full of air. I'm just telling them to check your oxygen. So they put a little thing on your finger to check your oxygen in your blood. But they also have you wearing a, it looks like a little bracelet, and it's got your name and information on there. The fourth time I cried was when the doctor pressed on my stomach with her hand and asked if it hurt. It did. It's almost done. You're doing great. So the nurse is saying, it hurts a lot. Maybe you should stop now. And the doctor's pressing on her stomach. Does it hurt? Does this hurt? How about here? I'm thinking it's appendicitis. Could it be something she ate? Asked the dad. She had tons of candy. I didn't cry when I got a funny robe with ties on the back. Ooh, it's a little chilly. I didn't cry when I got new socks with dots on the bottom. Wiggle, wiggle. I almost cried when I had to take off my favorite hat, but I didn't, so that doesn't count. The fifth time I cried was because of a needle, even though the nurse put a cream on my arm so it wouldn't hurt. It's just a tiny poke. The first needle took some blood out of my arm, then it made room for a tube. It was still scary, but it didn't hurt. So the nurse is telling that, Tell them, especially her, because she doesn't know what's going on. Mom and Dad are familiar. It's called an IV. Medicines and liquids go through the little tube. Can I get juice in it? You can't get juice in there. It's for medicine. The sleeve holds the IV in place. I got a sticker because I was brave. I was brave even though I cried. But I didn't cry when a doctor took pictures of the inside of my body. I got to touch the wand. There was jelly on it. I It will feel a little bit cold. So yeah, the jelly does feel a little bit cold and checking her stomach. And this could either, this is probably um, letting you know about what's inside her stomach. She's going to be taking pictures of it. The doctor's going to be looking at it. So the inside of my body looks like little hairs or maybe mountains. I didn't cry when the doctor said that I needed an operation, but then I saw my mom and dad crying a little bit. So I cried a little bit too. But that doesn't count. So they're in their radiology. One saying, paging Dr. Watson, elementary. So if you've read that story, there's stories with Dr. Watson. They've got stories in that. The doctor says, as I suspected, she has appendicitis. But it'll be okay now that we caught it. You'll feel much better very very soon. The sixth time I cried was when the orderly pushed my bed down the hall. She's telling her, you're doing great. And mom says, I'll get to be there with you. So they're holding the elevator, asking if you're going up. It was a little scary, but also a little fun. So now you go into the, the what they call the surgery room and all the nurses and the doctors they're all prepping so they have to wash their hands over in this section it says water and it says agua in Spanish and because you might get water on the floor they have a sign that says wet floor and in Spanish it says piso mojado 
sometimes in surgery you have to wear uh, glasses. So they have the glasses there. You have the intercom saying page, paging nurse Nightingale. When they're working, they have to wear certain clothing for surgery. So they have a surgery attire over here. And over here, you've got the, the desks and you've got all the nurses. You've got another doc, uh, nurse or doctor asking a patient, does she have a fever? Two doctors saying, hi, Dr. Mueller. Doctor says, Dr. Brown. Hi, Dr. Tessman. And they're headed there and it says, look at your mom. She's telling her, look at your mom. Mom's saying, don't you like my funny suit? That's because they have to wear uh, an outfit like that while they're in surgery. And then the, then the doctor comes and says, hello, how's your ride? The second time I, I cried was when I was in the operating room. I was scared and all the people in masks. I was scared when it was time to wear my own mask. So the nurses say, would you like a cozy blanket just to keep her warm? Under my mask, I am your doctor. Remember the doctor is telling me, she's feeling around telling you that you probably have appendicitis. And mom's saying, I'll be here until you fall asleep. The doctor counted backwards. She said, I'll be asleep by the time she got to one. I didn't believe her because I wasn't tired. So they have given her some medicine that's make her go to sleep while they have surgery. And you could literally count back. Some people don't even make it back to, to one. Some, I know when I've had surgery before, I didn't get past seven. I was counting backwards, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. She fell asleep. So while you're asleep, they have the surgery and you don't feel anything. You don't know that they're having the surgery. And when you do, you wake up. She says, I didn't cry when I woke up. I had a popsicle and then I threw up. So the nurse was saying, it's, this happens all the time. A lot of times when they wake up because of the medicine that you have inside you, sometimes eating something does not feel good in your stomach. So you see here, the other boy had, a, had surgery on his arm and he's reading, oh, one of Lisa Brown's books that she wrote called the airport book. Dad said, oops, and dropped it. The eighth time I cried was when it was nighttime. I cried because my new room was filled with beeping machines. Had that. I cried because it smelled funny. I cried because nurses kept coming in to check on me. Yes, when you have to stay in the hospital, nurses will keep coming like every two hours, if not less than that, like every 45 minutes, all the time. They're coming in and out, in and out, in and out. Hard to sleep. But who's sleeping over here? What do you think that might be? Sleeping in the room with her. So she's not too scared. The ninth time I cried was because I was lonely. You hear the, you can hear the, the machine. If you ever been to the hospital, you can hear a machine go beep, 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 all the time. But guess who's sleeping there with her? It is her dad. She says that even though the ninth time that she had cried because she was lonely, she wasn't alone. She realized when she looked at the next next a lot of times there's a chair there so next to her was a chair that comes out until it makes it into a bed so dad was sleeping in the morning i didn't cry even when the pancakes didn't have blueberries inside i like pancakes best 
when there are blueberries inside and strawberries on top. So then doctor came in, she asked, how are you this morning? And, she, and the nurse asked, are you enjoying your breakfast? Her brother says, I want breakfast too. Daddy still looks tired, drinking some coffee, trying to wake up. I didn't cry when I walked around the hallway. So she's walking around the hallway and it's good. Like after you have surgery and the doctor says that you, it's good that you can get up and walk around because that helps your body to heal faster. So she's walking around with her brother. They get to the cafeteria and it looks like the grandma is reading a story to the kid that wanted a cookie, remember that? She said, once upon a time, she had ready to read a story. Looks like somebody's asking, what should you eat? we eat for lunch? And the girl in the wheelchair says, pizza. Now lots of kids love pizza. So she walks around some more. The nurse ends up saying, they have a sticker. She says, thank you. Then she sees another kid. And she says, hi, and she's got a balloon. Hi, this is my third time here. How about you? I think this is her first time. Even when my balloon popped, I didn't cry when I met a dog. It licked my face. I didn't cry when I rode in a wheelchair. It squeaked. So you have here, if you see here, it says service dog. And the service dog is named Sweetie. Remember in the beginning, you had somebody who was walking the dog to the hospital? And this dog is a service dog, which means that this dog is trained to help people who have some type of illness. A lot of times they might have animals go to a hospital to help make the um, patients feel better and then you have some people with service dog that helps them at home when something is not right medically with the person and the dog lets the person know um, that you might need to take a, a medicine at that time so now that she's leaving the hospital sometimes you know wheelchairs squeak because a lot of times you just wheels will squeak and she's saying bye. She's telling the kid that was next to her, I guess they're leaving too. And he's pressing the, the horn saying, honk honk. When I got home from the hospital, my stomach didn't hurt anymore. I wasn't scared. I wasn't lonely. So now that they're home, we got the, the grandfather and the aunt there. Got the little dog waiting for him. I see a cat on the top. I got to wear my own pajamas and my favorite hat and keep the bracelet with my name on it. And my grandpa cried and my aunt cried, my brother cried, my friend cried, and my mom and dad cried and I cried. But also, we were all smiling. So they're all smiling because they're just so happy that she is home. So that doesn't count. And now they're having cookies. Remember, one of those kids kept asking for cookies, and they got the strawberries to eat because she likes strawberries on top of her pancakes. They were making some pancakes. The end, and it says, get well soon. Sometimes people get flowers, and sometimes people get cars that say, get well soon when they are in the hospital. So, if you like this book, you can go purchase it, or you can check it out at the library, which is what I've done. I've checked this out at the library. Um, I have not checked to see if this was an AR book or not. I haven't had a chance to. Um, but if you like it, it's by Lisa Brown. She's also illustrated it. If you could, if you have not done so, please follow this YouTube channel. Just click real quick. Um, on the click on follow and also like this video please tell other people about this YouTube page 
you're reading all sorts of children's books, probably all the way to sixth grade for now. Um, if you'd like me to read a book, you can also check out my Facebook page that is catered to this YouTube channel called Lola's Enchanted Bookshelf. There you will have, sometimes I have some news, sometimes I'll post about things that relate to the stories that I've read that I make, hand make. Also in the links below, which is the link to the Facebook channel. Um, also is the link to places that I have where I sell things that I make um, that relate to some of the books. But if you see something, if you don't see something and you'd like me to make something that might relate to it, I will have it. I know, for instance, for hospitals and for nurses and doctors and everything, I know I have some earrings and some bracelets and everything that have doctor on it, has nurse on it. It's got like, um, like the old fashioned hats that they used to have to wear. There is stethoscopes, you know, like I have all sorts of charms and everything that I can make with like bracelets and earrings and necklaces for those. So again, check out the links below. You all have a wonderful evening. Bye now.